สวัสดีครับ I'm JP m i s t a n z a Welcome to the end of the week. It's Friday, February 17th. You're watching Phuket Extra, brought to you by PBCPhuket.com. A foreign tourist was stomped out by a group of Thai nationals believed to be security guards in Patong. In a case that Patong police are now investigating, a video of the incident went viral on social media shortly after it was posted on Wednesday night, which is when it's believed to have taken place. The video and pictures of a fight between around 10 Thai men and a foreign tourist prompted comments by many users who criticized what had happened in Phuket's main nightlife district. The video shows the foreign man trying to escape from a group of men in black shirts, believed to be security guards from a local entertainment venue, and he bumps into another similarly dressed man who knocks him out with a punch. And the group then starts to stomp the foreigner while on the ground. Earlier reports link the situation to another brawl in Patong, which started as a road rage incident and developed into a fight and a chase through Patong streets. But now it's believed to be a separate case. Patong police are now conducting an investigation, but have not made any public statements yet. It's unclear exactly what led to the incident. However, Phuket reporters believe the situation could have arisen from a quarrel between the foreigner in the video and his girlfriend, with guards allegedly having interfered and resulted into this fight. The condition on the foreign man is currently unclear. Meanwhile, p r a p k i s i n a well-known Patong businessman, revealed today that officials from Katu District Office. The Patong police and municipality met with Patong security guards to quote formulate policies and maintaining the image of Patong slash Phuket as a world class tourist city. Strict regulations on the safety of tourists have been put in place. For the latest, visit the PhuketNews dot com. Twenty two freshwater baby crocodiles that were being sold illegally via TikTok have been seized by officials here in Phuket following a raid at a home in Sri s u t o r n And the alleged seller has been arrested. The raid involved officials from the Phuket Fisheries Office and took place on Thursday at about 3 p.m. at a house in Mu 8 in Sri Sutorn. The baby crocodiles were found in a contained rock pool area in front of the house, and a 35-year-old Thai national named only as Tirajet was arrested. He explained that he previously had a legally valid permit to trade wild animals obtained from breeding, but that the permit expired on September 9th of last year. He later confessed to continuing selling baby crocodiles through the internet. The raid followed complaints filed about the crocodiles being advertised through TikTok as available for delivery anywhere throughout Thailand. t i r a d e j was charged with illegal possession of protected wildlife and faces possible jail time and/or fine of up to half a million Thai baht. The baby crocodiles have been taken into protective care by the Phuket Provincial Fisheries Office. For more, visit the phuketnews.com. Concern is mounting among tourism operators over the new tourism fee that will be implemented later this year, namely the transparency of the tourism promotion fund, which the fee is supposed to partially fund. The cabinet this week approved collection of the fee, expected to start in June. The tourism and sports ministry is projected to collect 3.9 billion baht this year, and more than 10 billion baht from 40 million visitors estimated to arrive in Thailand for next year. According to the Bangkok Post, part of this money is meant to go into a tourism promotion fund to develop more tourist attractions nationwide. But the president of the Association of Thai Travel Agents said fund management must be transparent and use the principle of checks and balances to avoid accusations of corruption or ineffective spending. He said another concern is fee collection from foreign arrivals at borders, as those channels are the most susceptible to corruption. According to the Tourism and Sports Ministry, the method of fee collection for entry by land could be kiosks at checkpoints for visitors to pay before proceeding to immigration. Officials from the ministry even floated the idea of opening these services for private sector bidding. Marissa s u k o s o l n o k b a k d i the president of the Thai Hotels Association, said the total receipts from the fee collection, after deducting expenses of around 50 baht per head for insurance, would be huge. With careful policies needed to regulate the fund, she stated, quote, "It would be more effective if the tourism promotion fund members have an understanding of the tourism industry and allow the private sector to share opinions, as they have expertise and are familiar with the problems." For more, visit the PhuketNews dot com.
a project spearheaded by local Rotary Clubs, saw 39 blocks of artificial corals installed at a reef off Gold Mike Dawn to help the ailing reef to thrive. The sculpted blocks of artificial corals were installed on Thursday by a barge provided by the Phuket Provincial Administrative Organization, the PPAO, with a host of local dignitaries on hand for the start of the project. Not mentioned in the official report of the event yesterday was the Rotary Club of Patong Beach, which was involved in the fundraising efforts for this project under the banner Save Underwater World. PPAO President Rewat Arirob explained that the project aims to encourage the growth of natural coral larvae in the area as part of marine natural resources protection and development, which also helps to promote tourism in Phuket. The PPAO funded about 150,000 baht to cover the cost of the installation process, which in total will see 30 blocks set up in separate areas at the reef. For more, visit thephuketnews.com. A meeting was held on Thursday to identify ways to elevate the standards of education here in Phuket at the schools on the island by focusing on developing both teachers and students alike. Governor Narong was joined by an advisor to the board of the Phuket Education Office, as well as the director of the Phuket ESAO, selected educational administrators and representatives from relevant private sector organizations. Governor Narong explained that the objective of this meeting was to establish guidelines to help develop comprehensive skill sets of both teachers and pupils to drive the overall education system on the island into a, quote, brighter future. He added that developing and improving the standard of English language skills among teachers and pupils was of particular importance. For more, visit thephuketnews.com. Signs have been posted at beaches along Phuket's west coast warning visitors of jellyfish in the waters following a rising number of tourists being stung by the marine creatures. Officers from the Phuket Marine Resources Conservation Center and local administration organizations have been bolstering lifeguard stations with extra bottles of vinegar and other medical supplies to help provide treatment for stings. The move follows increases in reported stings along the West Coast, including at Patong Beach. The director of the Phuket Marine Resource Conservation Center said his officers will visit more than 20 important beaches around the island, including Patong Beach, Kata, Karong, Nayang, Surin, and Cape Panwa on Phuket's east coast. He stated that over 30 people have recently been stung by jellyfish in Phuket, all while playing in the water at the beach, though most were not seriously harmed. He stated, quote, There are many species of jellyfish. For normal jellyfish stings, vinegar can be poured over the area continuously for at least 30 seconds to help, but never pour fresh water, drinking water, or alcohol onto the sting. For more, visit thephuketnews.com. Thank you so much for ending your week with us here at Phuket Extra, brought to you by pvcphuket.com. Have a great weekend out there. We see you back. We'll see you back on Monday. Until then, stay classy, Phuket. Phuket's rapid modernization has made it one of the world's premier holiday destinations. Investors can still buy quality condominiums for as low as 75,000 US dollars, and luxury properties can go all the way up to 20 million. Condominiums in Phuket are a safe, secure bricks and mortar investment offering foreigners freehold ownership. Call or email Thai Residential, Phuket's number one trusted real estate advisor, to find your perfect Phuket property.